quick meeting at East BRA today. They are open again uh, for inside seating now. It's really, it's just beautiful in here. They also have a new coffee in there. They just uh, just started serving their summer blend, so you gotta get down there and try it. I dropped my car off here at Good Tire. Inspection time. I must have been down here about this time last year too, because all the mulberries are, uh, are coming in. I believe I said in that video that this is my favorite time of year, and uh, still true. Still got the uh, the rock thing going on. Lots of cool rocks to find down here. If you got some kiddos looking to uh, have a fun little summer project, coffee's wonderful as well. Mike and Amber, if you're watching, great job. So the sights and smells down here are amazing. Uh, the meeting I had this morning, I was with a couple council people. Some exciting stuff happening in the borough. Uh, hopefully be able to update you after the next borough council meeting. So uh, look out for beginning of July. Hopefully we'll be able to partner with the borough through Summer of Serve to, uh, to get some good stuff done. looking at API here they are uh, they're getting ready to rebuild I didn't realize the building had been gutted already and they're getting framing up and uh, yeah it's looking great that gets me all excited sometimes when you see a burned out building you know it's not gonna be replaced but they are uh, they are rebuilding and they're gonna make it really nice from the looks of it so very exciting Flowers are coming along very nicely. I love seeing open signs downtown again. East BRA has got the little bistro tables out too. That barber shop next to me, man, they've been busy since the quarantine's over. Okay, it's a little later in the day, I'm trying to crank out as much work as possible. I do have a summer of serve preview for you today, so we're gonna get that taken care of, but uh, a couple other things to show you real quick. A couple other things I heard recently is that uh, they hired a new codes officer for Catanning, which is great news. Um, that's one of the major missing pieces. You know, when we're doing Summer of Serve, we really want to see partnership with the city. So hopefully uh, they can be out doing their part to clean up Catanning and we can be out doing our part to clean up Catanning. And it works better when we work together. And so when the city's missing that piece, then there's a lot of, um, let's say, uh, there's a lot of places that won't get fixed up without that extra push that's required from the codes officer. So um, just something that's very important and I'm glad to hear they made a move on that. I was also driving by the trail up here. Uh, you have the master gardener demonstration garden and this is a, a few years in the making now, but look at this area of the trail, just beautiful. If you guys get a chance, come up here and take a look at this. It's, it's one of the hidden gems in Catanning, honestly. And we get down here at Sprankles. The police, in conjunction with some local businesses here, they are handing out 500 meals today. Got Chester Cheetah here uh, doing, doing their thing down at Sprinkles. I think it's awesome. They did a similar giveaway over at Bugsy's a couple weeks back, so it's nice to see, uh, it's nice to see the police and the, and the local businesses uh, working together to, to just bless the community. It's just good stuff, you guys. Lots of walking today, but uh, you know, could not have asked for a better day to walk around town. Now that we got some wheels, let's do our summer serve preview. My goodness, those are heavy. Well, uh, you might have guessed. We're, tomorrow we're going to be painting. This is kind of a continuation of last week's projects. You might remember this house where all the power washing was done. Now we'll be painting the awning. We'll be painting the bottom portion of the uh, house as well. And then we have the two awnings that will eventually go back up on the house. We're gonna paint those and put them on the proper windows. 
than the house next door. Uh, it's gonna get a fresh coat of paint on its awning as well. And uh, hopefully we'll also get a coat of paint on everything else white. There'll be two houses owned by some wonderful people that'll just look a, a little bit fresher by the end of tomorrow. There's this house too on North Grant. We're not gonna do anything to it. It looks really, really awesome already, but I thought they have all this handmade stuff sitting around. They're actually selling this stuff for really cheap. If y'all are in the market for like a really nice handmade uh, welcome sign or like a birdhouse or something, super cool handmade stuff. I just, uh, I like seeing those kinds of things. We actually just got permission on a yard here. So this is a little bit further up North Grant, but you can see it is, uh, it's really long. It's probably waist high. So um, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a little bit of a project. But of course, nothing the superheroes of summer and surf can't handle. You know, that's that's easy stuff for us. So we have at least one other yard like that as well. Plus we have a uh, small construction project here at the church, hopefully going to get our uh, sign ready to put up. And then we'll also have a deconstruction project uh, at one of our other church buildings. So there's a lot of work to do, you guys. We have the equipment, we have the supplies. All we're missing is you. See you tomorrow.